Welcome back to Revit Up Bowling. My name is Jason Robarge, and today we got another ball review for you. What we're gonna be doing is reviewing the new Hammer Scorpion Strike. This is their new midline ball uh, that fits in between their Hazmat series and then below that their Vibe series, fits right in between that. Uh, this particular bowling ball has roughly a 2.50 RG, a little bit lower than 14 as I throw that, but the same differential at 0.045. My first thoughts on this ball, one, I love purple. It's pretty, for sure. Hammer and Brunswick in general have been doing a great job on their colors and they knocked on the park on this one too. Where does this ball fit? What does it do? Well, it fits their midline series. Scorpions, this is their fourth iteration of the Scorpion. They had the original and then they had their third one was the low flare. Now I personally like the low flare a lot. I enjoy the lower differential, but they did go to the LED 3.0 core for this one, which has a higher differential and a, you know, moderately moderate high RG, which makes this a very skid flippy bowling ball. The layout I put on it was a five by 45. Yeah, five by 45. What I wanted for this ball is I compare this a little bit to the Ethos. Now the Ethos is definitely a little different. I believe a little bit lower RG and a higher differential. When I throw the Ethos, it's really good for that transition into burn. However, with that big differential sometimes, it just pukes a little bit. Just, it, it doesn't get that flip like I needed to, that tra faster transition. With this bowling ball, lower differential and a quicker responding layout. This will provide more of that transition into burn what I'm hoping for during tournaments. That's why I drilled this thing, that was my idea behind it. How shot might be a little too flippy for me if I you know, just don't wanna think and throw the ball and strike. For this particular bowling ball, I'm going to be probably farther, farther left. It is gonna be quicker responding, which means when it sees friction, it's gonna wanna flip over. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw some shots up the gutter. It's gonna hook too early, it's gonna hook too much. I already know that, but we're gonna do it and then move left. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna throw some shots. We're gonna try to go up second arrow. If I had to guess, this is gonna read too early and too quickly, and I'm gonna go run away Brooklyn. But. Yep, did exactly that. All right, we're moving left. Bowling balls are similar to this, are gonna be your mid-range pearls. Those are typically, you know, fit that skid flip mold a little bit more. Higher RGs, moderate differentials, but not as clean as like a low diff ball. Doesn't flare as much, carries more energy down lane, gets a little bit farther. So, we're gonna go ahead and move left. I'm gonna make a substantial move left because I just don't see this holding the pocket mount well. So we're gonna go eight left. Okay, better. I'm gonna move a couple more. Now what I am bowling on is London 44. 44 foot pattern, longer pattern. However, this particular pattern, especially at this bowling alley, does read a little shorter. It does play a little bit shorter, and there is some nice back ends here. It does respond a little quicker than something that was, you know, sucking energy up because the lane has so much friction. This is, lanes are very clean. They get that lane well, and then they transition quite quickly. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and move left a little bit more. I was pretty close with that four pin. Let's see if we can make that same shot. Uh, I came with the back of it and I was just like, that could be terrible. I was like, you know, that might finish or that might just be awful. And it was awful. Oh God. All right, we're gonna do that again. I'm not gonna try to do it terrible. Oh God. 475 rev rate, 810. Hit it harder, kid. Ah, pull it a little bit. All right, we're gonna move left a little bit. I feel a little jammed into the pocket right now, but eight tens, man. That was the second eight ten on the channel. The first one was to lose in Fairbank. That was fun. I think I got second with the pocket eight ten. Yeah, you remember editing that? That was rough. All right, we're gonna move just a few more left. Open the open lineup just a little bit more. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Much better. All right, ball motion. We can see that thing is pretty clean. It's, I wouldn't say as clean as I thought. Again, with a quick responding layout, pin up typically, depending on your PAP, all that. It, it responds quite quickly. That's the number one thing I see. Did I, th I thought it was gonna get down lane just a little bit more than it is, but it's doing what I thought it would, which would be a cleaner front, little mid lane, but then when it gets to the back end, it likes to flip over quite, quite a bit. It's not the quickest thing I've ever thrown as far as response goes, but it's definitely quicker than most balls in my arsenal. We're gonna go ahead and try to throw the same shot. Let's get the A-10 out. That was not great. Work 
worked out. It does see the mid lane more than I expected. It also doesn't continue as much as I expected. Now it is quicker. It does provide a good deal of angle going through the pocket. But if you guys watch the hazmat solid we just shot, it's gonna be posted around the same time. That ball was much more continuous. It continued through the pocket more. However, I do have this ball just responds quicker. In general, Pearl, a lower differential, it just wants to respond a little quicker and it doesn't continue as much, which for me, when it's burn and I'm playing left, I don't want something that keeps going left. Typically, I want something that reads that friction and just mellow, nice smooth shape off of it. With this ball, I don't think it's gonna be for burn burn, but definitely for like a transition into burn, I think this is gonna be where this ball will be good. All right, let's go ahead and move left a little bit more. I do think, hopefully I can find an OB left with this thing, because it is a fresh earth shot. We're gonna go ahead and move five more left. We're gonna zone change a little bit. Not bad, I slowed down a little bit. I probably didn't have to, but the recovery seems like is quite nice. Again, with that pinup layout, it'll like transition a little bit more, a little bit quicker, I should say. So I can get it maybe a little bit further right and have more recovery than let's just say a 70 valve, which shoves the pin way under, which is a lot smoother off friction. Let's go ahead and move left a little bit more. That wasn't phenomenal, but it might work out. Ah, oh, grabbed it a lot, grabbed it. That's okay. This shape right now screams tournament arsenal. It doesn't scream house shot for me, me particular. Now, when you guys watch these videos, people have mentioned in the past, like not everyone throws like me. That's understandable. I don't throw it like you. I'm gonna try to show what I can do with the ball. And I feel like I'm pretty good with moving throughout the lane to illustrate what the ball can do. But at the same time, you gotta take any ball review with a grain of salt. Cause again, patterns are different. The lanes are different. People are different. How they throw the ball is different. There's so many variables in bowling. When you look at a ball review, I want you to really focus on the general ball shape. If I throw a skid flippy ball and you throw a skid flippy flippy ball, they're probably gonna be pretty skid flippy. Now, depending, you know, if you're a full roll or all that stuff can vary a little bit. However, the same premise, the same category you can focus on. For me, I might be fifth arrow, but for you, you might be third arrow. But I guarantee you the ball shape is going to be cleaner, quicker, if you lay it out the way I have it laid out and the surface. Take it with a grain of salt when you watch any ball review. However, like I said, I know how to throw it one way. I've been doing it for a long time and you've been doing it for a long time. You know, if you've been bowling for 30 years, playing up the, up the gutter, hey, more power to you. When lanes are hard, you win. So we're gonna go ahead and move left a little bit off that tangent. We're gonna move left a little bit, try to get the ball right. I wanna try to check recovery on this, see if it picks up early enough to make the corner or quick enough to make the corner. We're gonna move left a little bit more. <laughs> And we're gonna try to get that break point a little bit further right towards that gutter. We're gonna try to cross a few boards right now. Eh, not quite, not quite that far right. That's okay. It's a fresher shot. I mean, it only has three games of lineage, so I don't expect it to come off that spot. We're gonna go ahead. From what I saw on this pattern, I did have a better look when my break point was a little bit further right. If I get it in, it doesn't seem like it has as much hold as I was hoping. We're gonna move a little bit further right. We're gonna parallel basically everything right. And again, we're trying to get that ball right pretty quickly. Open our angles to the front. That was a terrible shot. That was worse than the 810. We're gonna throw another one. We'll leave that one in for the show of the fact I'm human, <laughs> really human. I miss a lot. Oh, see you ball. All right, that angle doesn't work, which is great. It just doesn't see enough and I can trick it to make it work, but it's not natural for me. Send the ball right early into a lot of oil away from the pocket. The ball just doesn't have enough to make it back. We're gonna try to square up a little bit more and I'm gonna check to see if I can get some length, you know, trap it in the one three a little bit more, maybe get as far right as 10. I have to increase speed just a little bit. That wasn't great. 
not long enough for that. That was inside, but all right, let's throw one more to end it off. A little bit of comparisons. I feel like it's a Vibe on steroids a little bit. The Vibes typically provide a skid flip, even with their solid, like the radioactive Vibe. It was a solid and thing hooked a ton. So more mid laney, a little bit less quick to respond, but hooks a little bit more than a Vibe. Think of it as a little bit less skid flippy than a Vibe, but a little bit more hook. <laughs> and it definitely hooks less than the Ethos I mentioned earlier. Much better. Yeah, came to the back of that one. Just saw the mid lane a little bit more blended the shape. That was a review of the Scorpion Strike. It is already out. Remember to pick one up at your local pro shop. I definitely think this is gonna fit my tournament bag. It does exactly what I wanted it to, to be, to be frankly honest. It might not look the best right now, but I could definitely see when there's some free hook right. I can just throw it right and watch it bounce off the friction. So if you guys are looking for a little bit cleaner mid lane ball, quicker responding, I think the Scorpion will be it for you. If you really like the LED 3.0 core and some of the other bowling balls, I think you're gonna really like this thing. So with that said, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Helps way more than you might think. And please remember to smash that like button. My name is Jason Robarge. We'll rev it up bowling. Much love, peace.